This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well if you're into 3D modeling and animation, you probably heard of render services, okay? But what is it exactly and how does it work, right? Well, my sponsor Rebus Farm, and you probably saw their logo show up in my videos, they have a pretty cool setup. They got about 3000 CPUs running, and what they do is they will take your file and they will render it out for you and give it back. So what's the deal with that? Well, if you are working on, let's say, a single workstation at home and you want to render an animation, this can take days or even weeks, okay? And they facilitate that process. So how does that work? You go onto their website and you download a piece of software, a kind of a plugin, and that will allow you to, for example, uh, take your scene out of Maya and upload it to their uh, website they will render it out uh, for you at a fee and then you will get the end result back uh, so you can continue your process. Now you can use a bunch of different software platforms with their service but in this video I'm going to jump to a video created by Rebus Farm where they show you how this works with Maya. All right well that said let's jump in and see how that works. Here we go. Hi there this is Jeff from Rebus Farm and we're going to take a look at the Maya job submission. Okay, what we'll need is Rebus Drop installed and a Maya scene to export. Access the Farmanizer through the Rebus Farm shelf. Click on Rebus Farmanizer over here. Do a smart check to check if your scene is ready for export. And it actually is not. There's an error detected over here. Let's check out what it says. Extension must be set to an animation pattern. Let's go to the render settings. Set the correct extension here. Okay, run a smart check again and check no errors. Infos and warnings are okay, just remind you on stuff. So let's go and hit upload. Tooltip says upload started. To see your upload progress, you can either go to the menu here, check upload speed and stuff, but you can also open the control center in your browser. Job uploads pretty quick. And here we go. Job got queued directly since it was set to auto start. Just waiting to get some free nodes. There you go. Please note that the progress bar can sometimes stay at 0% in the beginning because we're metering progress by nodes completing render. Well, as you can see, I fast forwarded the render process a bit. Job completed. Download should be almost done since it started downloading completed frames during the active render process. Okay, as speaking of it, it finished. Let's take a look at our downloaded output by either choosing open download folder from the render jobs menu or left clicking the task symbol. If you didn't change the default action for that, there's our downloaded output. Let's have a quick look at some of them. Very good. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. 